my hee haw. Put a whole bunch of crowd numbers in him. I can't say. I like to try. It's just one gift that skips me. Cause I think I think I'm too devilish to say. I've been at somebody's window. <laughs> Getting in trouble. I grew up a tomboy. Any more tomboys? Hey, y'all. Uh, but I was the best. If I was going to be something, my mother told me to be the best. I was the best somewhere. Couldn't no boy beat me running. And it sure couldn't beat me shooting no marbles. Oh, that was my thing. Anybody you shoot marbles? That was my... I was so good. I used to win the marbles from the boys and send it back to them. I had it going on. I was a, like an unter... Uh, unter... Uh, unter... Uh, unter uh, what the thing is? Entrepreneur? Yeah, I had my own business. <laughs> I had my own business. My dad tried to mess up my hustle. With all them little strict religions, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff and rules. He told me, told me, you can't keep shooting the marble. I said, why? He said, the Bible is against it. I said, now, dad, the other stuff I was doing might be in the Bible. But I know shooting no marbles ain't in no Bible. He said, yes, it is. And he sat me down and showed it to me. Y'all, I read it for myself. It's in there. The Bible does say, marvel not. <laughs> it's in there. I read it for myself. It's in there twice. And one time, it's in red writing. So I knew I couldn't do it on Sunday. So I had to keep on getting saved. Cause I had that stronghold. Anybody you can say a lot. Anybody like me got say every Sunday. Every Sunday. I didn't go to church to get say I went to church keep getting the whoop. But that all the time was so scared, man, you couldn't help it. He'd be up there, he'd be like, You may not live to see tomorrow. Man, that thing used to get me every time. Cause I had stuff I had to do tomorrow. <laughs> So I would go get saved to make sure that I live to see the mom. And you know, back then when you went to the altar, they used to give you the microphone so you could tell all your business. The pastor was like, daughter, would you like to tell the church why you come again? I told her, I said, oh, yes, sir. I had just wanted to ask the church and on oh, you. And the Lord, if y'all could forgive me for my sins I did last week. Because I'm going to live to see tomorrow. So I can do it all over again. But, I think, I think you need to know something. That when I, when I was in there, I wasn't even by myself. Mm-mm. I had some people with me. And they here today, too. And I think they should come forth at this time. They was upset with me. They were out there arguing and everything. Because, see, they didn't understand the vision. This was a corporate move. And they didn't understand I needed all of them to be there with me tomorrow. So we can do it all over again. Because that's how I made my money. Marble shoe money. That's how I made my penny candy money. Y'all know penny candy? You can get the little can in the little brown bag. Twenty. I'm sorry, you give them a quarter, you get 25 pieces of can. You give them a dime, you get 10 pieces of can. Put a dime on the counter now. See what happens. He gonna look at you. I don't know who dropped it. <laughs> I don't know who dropped it. Put it in the tray. Put it in the tray. I don't know who dime it is. <laughs> I grew up in Mississippi. Anybody grew up in Mississippi? See there? We don't get out. We don't get out. We don't go nowhere. We don't go nowhere. They at home right now watching Hee Haw and Apollo. That's all we do. That's all we do. And get in trouble. That's why they have so many churches in Mississippi. They want on Erd County. This was a lot of liquor store, but we got two churches in the, and a liquor store on Erd County. That's how we had to do it, and we had all these revivals. Oh, we had so many revivals. And they used to announce it on the radio, too. And I used to be scared when them prophets came to town. Oh, my God. Y'all have been in church with no prophets beat up. Man, it's going to be scared because they can call you out and tell you everything you done did wrong. 
I remember the first time it happened to me, I said, oh, Lord, we're going to be here all night. I was not prepared. They be on, and they will call you out. I know they call me out. Yeah. Because I, 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 like, I ain't know that he was talking to me. He said, you, come here. I'm on the back row. He said, you, come here. I turn around, look, looking right at the wall. Ooh. He said, you daughter, they just come in, come in. I was like, oh, no. And see, I just got out of work. I went because my mama told me to go. And I'm walking down, and I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm tired. I've been downtown fighting all them devils. I said, please don't let this man knock me out. I get down there. That man started prophesying. He had a word. So he told me what God had to say. But evidently, God didn't tell him what I said. Because before I knew, wham. Out, out, cold, on the floor. And you just say, I don't mind falling out, but I'm looking at it. And the crop, crop was kind of soft. I said, well, all right. And a lady came and threw some cover over me. I said, I can get used to this. <laughs> and another lady came. And started fanning me. I told her, oh, appreciate it. So I went on ahead and took me a nap. Hey, y'all laughing, but y'all know ain't nothing like some sleep in church. Ain't that the best sleep? Oh, my. And don't let the children be in children's church. You go, oh. <laughs> Honey, I slept till service was over. By the time I woke up, one with three people there. And there was them two others and the deacon. And they just walked by me and said, mm, mm, mm. God is really doing the work on her. I turned over after the year, see you. And my pastor, he couldn't read. I figured out later that's why we had all them revivals. Because he was getting the messages from the evangelists and trying to preach them on Sunday. And his memory was tore up, so by the time we got to where we wasn't getting no spiritual food. We was getting junk food and snacks. He told us, he said, Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Egypt. And God told us to look like at all these animals. You can play with them and you can ride them. And since you're out there, go ahead and name them for me. You got all these beautiful trees. You can climb them and eat off all of them. Except for this one. He said, I don't care what you do. Do not eat off of this watermelon tree. Now I know some of y'all heard apple being preached. But I didn't read that in my Bible. I do know that for that plan to work, it had to be something that was tempting. And y'all know we don't care nothing about no apple. Therefore, it had to be a watermelon tree. I feel my help coming now. <laughs> and on this one shiny day, the sun was shining on one particular watermelon, and it cracked it a little bit. So then juice was dripping down the side. And Eve being the weaker vessel, she said, Adam, can I have some watermelon? Adam said, no. God said, don't touch it. We don't need to touch it. Okay. Be like that. But just remember, <laughs> I'm the only woman on this here earth. So Adam went and ate every watermelon on the tree. So now they get kicked out of the garden. So now they're walking through the land of Canaan looking for work. And they heard somebody crying. They looked behind the stone and it was Noah. They 
said, no, what's wrong with life, man? God told me to build this ark and put those animals in there. I can't even find all the animals. So Adam thought it as an opportunity. He said, hey, man, tell you what. We'll find an animal for you if you let us ride with you. And I'm like, no, man. God said I can't let nobody ride with my cousin. <laughs> So Adam thought, they like, man, please, man, you got a little ride. Man, my wife back here tripping, I got some fun. He looked at Eve, he was like, he was like, man, I see you. Okay, cool. So Noah, he stayed back. He built his ship. Adam and Eve went to go look for the animals. So they went up to Mount Moriah and did the animal call. Hoo And they heard somebody in the back, hoo like, who is that? Like, oh, there they go. And there they were, Rat Shack, Me Shack, and them other Billy Goats. <laughs> so everybody gets through the ship, right? Noah, he on the third level, he's driving. Got the music bumper.
crowd was like, hey, you've been in front of the room. Yeah, last Wednesday. I was on.